Hi there, I'm Dr. Lydia Sasenko, provider of oral appliance therapy for the treatment of snoring and apnea. I'm here to answer questions or to demonstrate things about oral appliances. Those are oral sleep appliances that are made for snoring and apnea with the help of a trained dentist in breathing disorders. Um, so we're talking about the professional type. And one of the most common questions I get is, where can I get a new case? So we're talking cases today. So I thought um, I would uh, show you some of the cases that uh, typically some patients have used that have commented on it that really have enjoyed those and some of the basic comments that some of these devices come in. But it is common for over time that the case might wear out or you something might happen to it and, or you just might want a smaller one or a bigger one uh, for cleaning or for traveling and, and things like that. So I'm gonna, uh, these will all be in the uh, description link uh, to this video. So if you want to know where to get it or you want to look up more descri descriptions on them, go to the description um, of, of this video. So um, usually if you get a device, and I did, uh, there's over a hundred different devices on the market. I'm gonna be using as a demo this one. It is a two-piece type, only because of size, so that you can see the, the size of these containers once I put it in, it's a little bit more visible. But um, some, a lot of the devices are clear, pink, all different, um, different colors and sizes and things like that. So I took kind of an average size just to kind of see what it looks like in the cases. So usually um, you might get something like this about the depth of this that it would come in. Um, so if this breaks down, okay, I have a similar one that you can get that's black that I found that is very, very similar to this type of size. So it's on the smaller size. It would get just basically it to fit into the box and a little bit more. Not the best if you are in soaking your devices, okay? So that is that one. So just look at the black uh, uh, box that is linked that has breathing holes as this one does. Very similar device to that. Um, also, if uh, you have a somnodent device, it would be in something of this size. And so I did provide the replacement link to that one. And just to let you know what that looks like into the container, it looks similar to that and with the lid out open. So it definitely is, um, it's a clear, it, you can soak things in it and store it. Um, and again, so this is by Somnomed and you can see the link for that as well. So now to get a little bit more creative, um, some patients want the deeper ones just just so it can be easier to wash if they're using a weekly cycle. So this is just a kind of a, a neat, um, that's one of my patients actually showed me and I thought it was really neat, but it has a lid like this and it has a cup inside, okay? So uh, making it rinsing easily, taking it out easily. And then what you would do is it fits very nicely, it's definitely deep enough in there. So you can actually, you know, use the cycle to clean it weekly like that, and then you can always take it out to air dry, and then it would be really um, uh, open on all different directions for air drying capability. So anyway, that's kind of a, a nifty one that looks like that with the lid, okay? So onward to the next one. This is another container, um, two-piece container, actually with a very similar structure without a handle. Um, so this one basically, same thing, has a basket that you can take out, you can clean, it definitely fits in there. So I just kind of want to show you that it definitely fits in there. You can take it out to air dry really well, put it back in there for some cleaning, things like that, or for more storage, okay? So that's also on there. All right, let's see, we have also, very similar to the white one, it's attached, so it doesn't have the two-piece. Also has a basket like that. So very similar, just to show you the size of it with the device in. Okay, definitely fits in there very nicely. Okay, so that is also kind of a deeper one, good for if you're doing, again, weekly cleanings and things like that. And if you're looking for a small one, the very first one is really the best for traveling and things like that. Um, and then finally, um, you know, I have a lot of patients who use Tupperware. So this is uh, the, the kind of a safe plastic to use. Um, and the description says that you can dishwash this as well. So this is also just a simply container that can, you can definitely use watertight for sure with the strap. Then with the clasps, you can do that. And it fits in there as well. So I found this one to be the best of the ones 
I went through a lot of different sizes, and I just like this size. It came in a two-pack, so you can use the other one for food. But anyway, it's basically a food container, so it's very safe for your retainer, and we found that. So that's retainers. Um, out of the description, the one that is very similar to this size that is black definitely did say it was dishwasher safe. Um, I don't know, but I would love to hear if any of our patients do use dishwasher to clean any of these cases. I would imagine some of them definitely can withhold it. There were a lot of um, in the reviews that other people do. Some people do put them in, into the dishwasher. Just make sure you take out your device. Devices are not safe for dishwasher. We're talking about some of these cases that might be able to withstand that. So these are just basic cases, uh, should you need a replacement or you need a different type for traveling or cleaning. And again, check out the link at the bottom of this uh, video and it will take you to uh, the resource for all these. And, pro and there's actually more products there as well. Also, be sure to visit mysleepdevice.com. That is an oral appliance educational website dedicated to making you more successful with oral appliances for the treatment of snoring and apnea. And be sure to see cleaning and replacement products for sleep apnea oral appliances. That is where I will be discussing which products to use specifically to clean your oral appliance. So hope you found today helpful. If you did, please like this video and share it. Um, you can find me in one of the other uh, places that's on this next slide. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will try to answer them in a future video.